My work, uh, my art, and my organizing has been informed by the bravery and the spirit of the many groups of victims of state violence in Nicaragua and LGBT groups and even political prisoners. So I feel very inspired by their work and they have motivated me to do the work that I do. I lived in Nicaragua under very authoritarian conditions and I was also affected personally. The government killed my uncle. And I think that has kind of like, of course, changed my life and shifted the way I understand the power of art and the power of making. A lot of my work, both with Nicaraguan communities and also outside of it, Central American communities, is kind of get people together and think about what can we do together and how we can also think about justice for all. The project that you see behind me in this exhibition of untold stories is a big interdisciplinary project. It's a transmedia memory museum. It's called Ama y no Olvida, Memory Museum Against Impunity. In this project, it's like a web archive and it holds testimonies of more than 100 victims of state violence, photographs, interviews about what happened to the victims, even like GIS information, like maps about what happened. When we created this project and we were documenting all the violence, people brought the objects that belong to the victims. For this exhibition to travel, we were like, what's the best format for this to travel? And what we did is that we, with photogrammetry, we scan more than 100 objects and turn it into 3D models. And then with those three, 3D models, we created these AR altars that uh, you're able to see inside the book. So basically the book, if you open it and you scan it with your phone, is kind of like a digital pop-up book and pop-up exhibition. Since the beginning of it, it's been shown in 22 cultural art spaces, and even like in the streets, which I really appreciate. So it has been shown um, in the streets of Guatemala for the Resistance Biennale, and it has been shown in the Legislative Assembly of Costa Rica. So it has lived both in art spaces and also in public and cultural spaces, which is really important for my work and for me. My praxis, my teaching emphasizes collaboration among the students and also among other communities. So I always invite them to think about their positionality and the communities that they're part of and also the communities they collaborate. One of the things I think is inject like this activist uh, energy, kind of like how do we change situations that are unjust in, in the communities. So I try to also infuse that in my classes. Another thing that I do for people, for my students to get comfortable into developing their artistic identity and voice is also sharing my own process and my own growth. I think that is part of a, also like a feminist standpoint or methodological kind of approach in which I also tell them like, this is my process, this is my growth, this is what I had to go through in order to develop my own artistic identity. And that's uh, one of the things that I, I try to do for them.